title. The champions, Bruce Hart, 212 pounds out of Calgary, and Brian Pillman at 224 pounds from Cincinnati, Ohio. Right now, Pillman on the floor after being attacked by Jerry Morrow with a chair. Jerry Morrow, one of the challengers at 232 pounds from Martinique in the French West Indies, partnered by Goldie Rogers, who's just dragging Pillman in the ring. Rogers at 230 pounds from Hollywood, California. And with me, my guest, Muck and Singh. Right now, the challengers have a one fall advantage. This is two out of three falls. Morrow and Rogers scoring the first fall as Jerry Morrow pinned Brian Pillman. The challengers look like they may take the match in two straight falls. Buck and Singh. I'll tell you what, this team of Morrow and uh, Rogers are looking real good. Champagne Jerry Morrow caught Pillman earlier in the boat with a terrific back suplex. This could be the second fall right here, Ross Hart. Look at that. Oh, he must have been 20 feet in the air. Brian Pillman must have enough strength to kick out at that three count. That must have been from pure instinct, as he has taken a tremendous pounding in the last seven or eight minutes. And Morrow not letting up on him, as his man in the corner there. Drives him in that turnbuckle, and a beautiful play across by Pillman. Has he got him? Yes, he does. Pillman has scored the second fall and evened the match. A beautiful come from behind effort to tie the match at one fall apiece. We're picking up the action at the beginning of the third fall. It's tied up at one fall apiece between the champions Bruce Hart and Brian Pillman and the challengers Jerry Morrow and Goldie Rogers. Morrow driving a barrage of fists and elbows into Pillman on the ropes. Pillman still badly shaken from the pounding he took in the second fall. Miraculously came back from behind to score a fall on Jerry Morrow. Muck and Singh, you must admit that was a beautiful diving play across that he scored on Jerry Morrow. I think he caught Jerry Morrow by surprise. Jerry did a big splash off the top. He thought he was in control of the match. He might have had a little let down there. But look at Jerry Morrow. He's got a lot of guts. He comes right back in his third fall and starts going after Pillman. I'm pretty interested. The IWA has been putting this two out of three in this impact matches. I think it's very exciting. I think it's a good concept and we'll see more decisive championship victory scored. Bruce Hart now tagging in from Brian Pillman goes after Goldie Rogers goes after Jerry Morrow and look at Bruce Hart go to work and a beautiful backdrop Goldie Rogers charges into Bruce Hart, Bruce Hart flails his man in the ropes and backdrops him Bruce Hart a two on one effort is taken down by Morrow applying a chokehold very smart by Morrow. Bruce Hart came in like a house on fire, but he can't watch two men at one time. When he took his eyes off of uh, Morrow to go after Rogers, Morrow had the presence of mind to go after him. Smart move by Morrow. Speaking of taking their eyes off the action, Jurgen Himmler distracted by Goldie Rogers, giving Jerry Morrow an opportunity to deliver a low blow to Bruce Hart. Bruce Hart jammed away in the corner, being held from behind by Rogers. Now Rogers tags in. A first yellow card issued to Jerry Morrow by referee Himmler. First yellow card warning. Remember, two yellow cards can be given as warnings. A third one results in a red card and an automatic disqualification. Morrow and Rogers going after Bruce Hart in the corner. Rogers jamming away at his men. Tags in. Morrow. Takes his man down. Morrow and Rogers, a newly formed team, have been successful with other partners in the past and have provided stiff opposition to Bruce Hart and Brian Pillman. I like the class of this champagne, Jerry Morrow. I like the class of him. He would never lower himself to uh, ever being like the peasants of these Alberta towns. You'll never see a man with that class. Champagne, tuxedos, women, and money. You never see him being a peasant working at some hide plant or something like they do down in this neck of the woods. Well, many fans would argue about your praise for Jerry Morrow, Muck and Singh. Oh, he's noted for that. The 
capacity crowd here in Raymond supporting Bruce Hart and Brian Pillman rallying behind Bruce to make a comeback. Rogers going after Bruce Hart and throws his man outside the ring. Morrow going away, going out after him. And he has our microphone for it and he's strangling Bruce Hart with it while referee Himmler is occupied by Brian Pillman. Bruce Hart being strangled. That's the kind of sportsmanship that Mokin Singh has been referring to Jerry Morrow about. Hardly what I would call sportsmanlike. Morrow and Rogers breaking many rules in this match. And it is the view of the fans that referee Himmler has been far too lenient with them. He's only given them one yellow card warning. While referee Himmler is distracted by Rogers. Morrow delivers several more blows to Bruce Hart, driving several elbows to the battered Bruce Hart at ringside. Bruce Hart in a lot of serious trouble. Bruce Hart looks in a lot of trouble, you're right. Oh, Pillman don't look too happy standing over there watching his partner get the car kicked out of him. He was out here being cocky a little earlier, trying to be a comedian. 20,000 comedians out of work. He shouldn't be trying to be funny. He should try to be a wrestler. Well, they're definitely taking this team seriously with their tag team title on the line. Looks like Jerry Morrow has some kind of a foreign object that he's hit Bruce Hart with in the ribs and now is gouging his face with, which draws Brian Pillman into the ring. Now referee Himmler ordering Pillman back to his corner. Tremendous action in this tag match. And Bruce Hart delivering an atomic drop to Morrow. Makes the tag and here comes Brian Pillman. A beautiful drop kick from close range. And another one on Goldie Rogers. Look at Pillman go to work. This Pillman can't show a drop kick all on this head. He might have been over the guy's head with it. Six, six and a half feet in the air. Well, he's doing a good job in taking on both his opponents right now. And his dander is up. He throws Morrow into those ropes. And another backdrop. Beautifully executed by Pillman. And the crowd loving every minute of it. Takes both of his men and knocks their noggins together. That's got to be harder on Rogers. You know Jerry Morrow's known for the big cocoa butt. Brian really hurt Rogers, I'm sure. Yes, it did. Morrow having one of the hardest heads in wrestling. Which brought about a yellow card warning to Brian Pillman. Covers his man. One, two, and it's broken up by Jerry Morrow. Tremendous action. Hard to keep the pace with all four men going at it. Pillman body slamming his opponent. And a beautiful splash. And once again, Jerry Morrow making the save for his partner. Ordered back to his corner by the referee. And a vertical suplex by Pillman. Has he got his man? That's it, Jerry Morrow saved the pinfall. Jerry Morrow has illegally saved his partner from being pinned on three occasions, Bucking and my opponent. Only illegal when he stopped Rock Hart. No one stopped him. In my opinion, he should have been given a red card and disqualified. They've been repeatedly interfering throughout the match. Pillman now off the top ropes and a beautiful high diving elbow drop and once again interference by Jerry Morrow they cannot keep him out of the ring and I'm certain Rogers would have been pinned by now tags Bruce Hart in a leapfrog by Pillman and a beautiful clothesline by Bruce Hart has he got his man one two three yes he does and a beautiful display of teamwork by Bruce Hart and Brian Pillman and we'll have to see that one in slow motion as Pillman did make the tag to Bruce Hart, threw his opponent into the ropes, vaulted over him. Rogers came off the ropes, greeted by the flying clothesline of Bruce Hart. And it was one, two, three, and the winners and still tag team title champions at the 23 minute mark. Bad company, Bruce Hart and Brian Pillman.